In a clearing deep in the Amazon, there's a gathering of peoples. Not for a generation have so many different indigenous groups come together in one village. These are the original custodians of the rainforest, here long before the Europeans arrived in search of gold. For decades, centuries indeed, they faced violence and the steady erosion of their land. They've come here at the invitation of Chief Rauni, a 90-year-old veteran of the struggle for indigenous rights. He's been fighting to defend the forest for more than half a century. They travelled, in many cases for days, hundreds of people from across the vast Amazon basin in buses over unmade roads. Newsnight sent a camera crew with them as they came together to try to forge a common strategy to counter an unprecedented threat. Last summer, the world watched with mounting horror as the Amazon burned. The lungs of the planet were on fire. But a government led by a populist right-wing president has made its priorities for the Amazon very clear. There are still riches to be found here. Timber, metals, agriculture. Those should be to the benefit of all Brazilians, he said, not just a small indigenous minority. In the forest, they say, people have interpreted Bolsonaro's rhetoric as a green light to grab land burning as they go. A gente nunca viu um, um governo tão agressivo, né? Tão tão violento com a questão indígena. No ano passado, 2019, foi muito crescente o número de ataques e invasões dos territórios indígenas, né? No mês de janeiro, somavam-se 14 casos de de invasões e ataques. Quando Chegou no mês de novembro, já se somavam 160. Afetando o direito de todos os povos. One of the aims of the meeting in the village of Piarassu was to present a show of unity. The assembled delegates drew up a manifesto to present to the government in Brasilia. But Chief Rauni knows that that won't be enough. So now he's left his village in search of international support. This week, he's in Oxford, next week, London, where he'll meet parliamentarians and a government minister. Last year, the Brazilian government accepted £10 million from the UK to help fight fires in the Amazon after angrily rejecting similar offers from other countries. But at the heart of this problem is a clash between two different imperatives, conservation or development. For decades, Brazilian governments of both the right and the left have prioritized development in the Amazon, and the issue has divided indigenous communities. Está claro né, que ele está conseguindo ganhar essa adesão de algumas pessoas, né, que, claro, é uma necessidade de, de tudo, né, de... de de, de renda, de, de tentar é, assediar os indígenas que vão ter dinheiro, que vão ter escola particular para os filhos, que vão ter carro, sabe? Isso é muito perigoso. 
Meanwhile, in Piarasu, the villagers are already feeling the effects of climate change. Bedjai Chukaramai and his wife pick cassava in the small fields around the village. But the thinning of the forest to make way, in some cases, for big agribusinesses has led to changes in the weather. Esquentando mais porque não tem mais mato. Está tudo derribado, né? Desmatado. Aí, o jeito que está, ó, esse tempo não podia ficar assim. Chove todo dia, mas não chove. Scientists are warning that the current rate of deforestation could lead to an Amazon tipping point. Vast swathes of the rainforest could be transformed into savanna over the next 50 years, triggering a huge release of carbon. Então acho que o mundo está precisando entender isso, sabe? De onde que vem o ar, de onde que vem a água que eles bebem, de onde que que vem todo todo esse ainda esse equilíbrio. Né, se acabou os territórios indígenas, se integrou, como é uma das grandes defesas do governo Bolsonaro, né, o integracionismo, o assimilacionismo, se tudo isso acontece, então não só nós estamos ameaçados, mas o mundo inteiro está ameaçado. <risos> After four days of speeches and ceremonies, the indigenous representatives prepared to return to their lands and guard against further incursions. But their numbers are small, their territory vast, and with all the political and economic forces ranged against them, the battle to save the Amazon is looking like a very unequal fight indeed. <laughs>